Good afternoon, Bucks. As you know, today is PSA day, and we know you're going to get good use out of today's tools to be successful. It's National Yearbook Week, and we're celebrating. Purchase your yearbook before Friday, and you'll be entered to win some awesome prizes. If you've already purchased one, don't worry. You are already entered to go to the HBMS website under Families, Parents slash Guardians, and then click your yearbook order information. There will be an NJHS meeting next Friday, October 6th at 8.20 in the library. NJHS meetings will always be held the first Friday of every month. NJHS, we need your input on our t-shirt design. Drop off your brilliant work in the NJHS folder located in the front office. It must be there by go time Thursday to be considered. Hudson Bend, Spirit Day happens every Thursday. For the month of October, every student w that wears their HB wear on Thursdays will be entered to win our beautiful basket filled with candy and Halloween goodies. So remember to wear your HB wear next Thursday. The eighth grade black team played some of their best volleyball to date this past Thursday. The Lady Bucks back row led by Campbell Todd, Sarah Wisner, Brooke Hart, and Alex Murphy were digging every hard driven ball in one set. The f front row set up perfectly by Marina Crownover had aggressive swings on the net. Front row hitting was led by Devin White, Arden Biesecker, Michaela Cowan, Liliana Makira, Paige Connors, and Raven Boswell. Even though the Lady Bucks fell short, they played some incredible volleyball. We are proud of you, your efforts. Final score 25 to 27, 14 to 25. Eighth grade white team came out strong and and ready to play last Thursday against Hill Country. In a nail-biting last set, Peyton Wark confidently served multiple strong serves in a row to give the Lady Bucks their big win. The team played one of their best games of the season. Keep it up, ladies. So proud of you. Final score: 8 to 25, 25 to 17, 25 to 23. Seventh grade Black was ready for a rematch against Hill Country last Thursday after losing to them in a tournament play. The Lady Bucks came out strong and played one of their best games of the season. Sophie Guerrera played a, a major role in the win by putting up a strong blocking defense. Ella Seegers did an impressive job as right side hitter and Maddie Mazeman dominated the back of the country in defense. <laughs> the back of the court in defense. The hard efforts of every girl of the court led us to an exciting win against a very competitive team. Great job, ladies. Keep up the good work. Final score, 25 to 19, 17 to 25, 25 to 17. Seventh grade White captured their very first win last Thursday against Hill Country. Every single player contributed to the Lady Bucks win. Sydney Fultz stepped up alongside Dylan Miles as setter. Krista, Krista Imbriano brought her game-changing performance, and Ava Robinson continued to lead the team in positively. Congrats on your first win, girls. Final score, 25 to 15, 25 to 19. It, the eighth grade black team played some of their best volleyball to date this past Thursday. The Lady Bucks back row led by Campbell Todd, Sarah Wisner, Brooke Hart, and Alex Murphy were digging every hard driven ball in set one. The front row set up perfectly by Marina Cranover had aggressive swings on the net. Front row hitting was led by Devin White, Arden Biesecker, Michaela Cowan, Liliana Makira, Paige Connors, and Raven Boswell. Even though the Lady Bucks fell short, they played some incredible volleyball. We are proud of your efforts. Final score, 25 to 27, 14 to 25. Eighth grade white team came out strong and ready to play last Thursday against Hill Country. In a nail-biting last set, Peyton Rourke confidently served multiple strong serves in a row to give the Lady Bucks the big win. The team played one of their best games of the season. <laughs> Keep it up, ladies. So proud of you. Final score, 8 to 25, 25 to 17, 25 to 23. Seventh grade black team was ready for a rematch against Hill Country last Thursday after losing to them in t tournament play. The Lady Bucks came out strong and played one of their best games of the season. Sophie Guerrera played a major role in the win by putting up a strong blocking defense. Ella Seegers did an impressive job as right side hitter and Maddie Mazeman dominated the back of the court in defense. The hard efforts of every girl in the court led us to an, an exciting win against a very competitive team. Great job, ladies. Keep up the good work. Final score, 25 to 19, 17 to 25, 25 to 17. Seventh grade White captured their very first win last Thursday against Hill Country. Every single player contributed to the Lady Bucks win. Sydney Fultz stepped up alongside Dylan Miles as setter. Krista Embriano 
brought her game-changing performance, and Ava Robinson continued to lead the team in positivity. Congrats on your first win, girls. Final score, 25 to 15, 25 to 19, Eighth grade black team earned a first place trophy and medals this past weekend in the Georgetown tournament. We could not be more proud of the amazing play from the entire team. In pool plays, our defense played a key role in our wins. Defense was led by Campbell Todd, Sarah Wisner, Alex Murphy, and Brooke Hart. The Lady Bucks won five out of six sets in the pool play and went out to went on to face a tough Forbes team for ch the championship. After losing in set one to Forbes, Devin White served the Lady Bucks close to victory in set two. During set three, the Lady Bucks offense led by Arden B. Secker, Devin White, Liliana Makira, Raven Boswell, Michaela Cowan, and Marina Crownover came out on fi came out fire to gain a solid lead early. It was a team win, and we could not be more proud. Great job, ladies. The eighth grade white team started off with six consecutive wins in a row, starting the tournament undefeated against Benold, Burnett, and, and Hutto. Audrey Babinski, Jaden Sellers, Evelyn Courtsad, and Zoe Berger had strong serves that could not be returned. Claire Reed and Jade Kirkpatrick were lightning fast on the on the court, making great passes for Charlie Hallett to set up our hitters. Peyton Bork, Joe Hoffman, Evelyn Courtsad, Savina Beekman, Zoe Berger, and Jaden Sellers. Wait, hustle, ladies. Seventh grade black once again played well in their tournament last weekend. Friday night and Saturday morning were filled with pool plays against where the girls took first in their pool. During bracket play, the Lady Bucks won the first game with ease and took second place in the tournament. Kyra Litchfield, Peyton Medina, Emily Contreras, Ella Seegers, Sophie, Sophia Guerrera, and Sophia Rock made up team's strongest, strong first front line. Rachel Ferreira, Peyton Caps, and Emily Contreras ran the court as setters. And our amazing defense was played by Kinley Stephenson, CeCe Hall, Maddie Mazaman, and Jillian Jackson. Congrats on a great tournament, ladies. Seventh grade White had an amazing weekend in Georgetown by taking second place in the tournament. Burkle, Clapp, Lorino, Miles, Nguyen, Rhodes, and Robinson are just a few girls who led the 7th grade white team to many victories. We're all so impressed with your improvement. Last weekend shows just how far you've really come. Keep it up, Bucks. Have a great day.